Hey, what's up guys? It's Yeti here. Today we'll be talking about the SMG named The Grudge, which I will show you guys what it does, how to mod it, how to get it in this video. Um, so first of all, how do we get this gun? This gun is dropped by the last boss of the DLC. You already part, you probably know who that is, but I, I won't be you know saying the name in case of spoilers or whatever. So uh, you get this guaranteed. It's a named SMG, which means the stats on it are actually set. It's pre-rolled. You cannot change the stats depending on your luck slash RNG. Um, and what's so special about this SMG? Well, let me show you the stats. Let me show you what this bad boy does. So first of all, it's called the Grudge. It's a high-end submachine gun. Okay, I kind of spoil who it drops there from. Never mind. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, we are we already know that that was the last boss. Anyways, it does 80k total damage, 900 RPM, and the mag. Well, I have mine modified to be 52. Um, it has a 14% SMG damage roll. Max is 15, but you know, as I said, this is pre-rolled. 21 crit, 10% damage out of cover. Now, the talent on this bad boy. Uh, makes you get, whenever you kill someone affected by status, you get to both you and your allies, you buff everyone with a 18% uh, critical hit chance and 18% critical hit damage buff for 20 seconds. That's pretty crazy because, as I said, 21 and then 18, that's a massive boost right there. You can easily hit the 60 cap with that. So how do I mod this gun? I put on accuracy, accuracy, and accuracy. This is, I would say this is mostly personal preference, except the extended 9mm mag is pretty much a must-have. Because this gun has base, it has 32 rounds, and then with this, we're talking 20 more. Um, this gun shoots fast as fuck. 900 RPM is literally insane. And I think without the mag, you'll be suffering. Uh, but for all other attachments, you can choose either accuracy or stability, uh, whatever you want to put on. It already has a massive amount of stability because it's an SMG, and SMGs don't usually suffer with, uh, they don't really struggle with stability, but I think accuracy is like the real problem. I did have, originally, I had crit stats on, uh, just to test it out, and I was like, okay, a lot of my shots are missing because just the bullets are going everywhere. Like, even now, you see, like, with all these stats on, the spray pattern is still kind of bad, um, but regardless, the RPM and the damage of this bad boy are insane. Uh, we will all probably be running this gun for a while. Uh, I wasn't a big SMG fan before I got this because, I don't know, most SMGs just felt like didn't have the potential of, you know, killing people that were like more than five meters away. But this bad boy is actually really, really strong. And I'm super happy that this is actually a guaranteed drop that we will all have. Uh, because most of the bosses, they all drop a guaranteed gun. Or, sorry, a guaranteed named gear piece. Um, but obviously all except Aaron don't drop a level 40 roll because you are not killing them at level 40. So yeah, let's test out the gun here. That does a lot of damage. You have to also keep in mind, I am playing on, I think I'm playing on challenging, which is pretty hard right now because the whole game got a lot harder. You're not one-shotting everyone anymore. And see, even on range, we're melting people pretty hard. Um, why am I always in cover? Well, that's to use the perk. Damage out of cover increased. So, obviously your playstyle with this SMG will have to be a little bit different. Also, we are way too far away from this guy. Um. But yeah, we'll talk about the stats here in a second once again. Because I want you guys to understand why I didn't go for crit and I went for accuracy instead. So, we're just gonna kill all these homies. All right, let's let's we can apply some status. There we go. He's on fire. We're gonna have to kill him fast. We're gonna get that bonus crit. There we go. You can see the proc just popped, and we're basically critting a fuck done now. Where's that guy hiding? I can't even see. We're getting that crit. The buff is still active. Twenty seconds is quite a long time for a buff as significant as this. So I'm really happy that this gun is accessible to everyone who buys the DLC. So that being said, let's review the stats. Okay, so right now I, I don't have good gear on at all. I have very basic level 40 gear with a few god rolls here and there. 
and I'm sitting on 34% crit chance. So as soon as I get that proc, I'm basically above 50. I'm very close to the cap. And it, this gun is absolutely insane. The fact that I can near cap while after killing a status effect mob this early in the DLC is, is crazy. Um, and I think this gun is going to be useful for basically everyone because it, it allows you to fo both focus on more uh, utility roles to go for more, you know, um, for more armor or for more ability oriented stuff. Like, it, it's, it's awesome. It's great. And I'm happy that, you know, I was able to get it this early and show you guys how it works. So as soon as you get that SMG, don't throw it away. If you're an AR player, like I was myself, I used to run M4 crit build. Uh, and I was, you know, I was a little bit disappointed because my M4 has a really bad roll right now. I tried crafting if you couldn't get a good one. But I was like, all right, I'll give this bad boy a try. And I'm super happy with it. So I'm glad this gun came out. And I hope you guys are going to join as much as I do. Thanks for watching my video. Also, I am live pretty much every single day on twitch.tv slash yeti. So check me out there. Uh, also, if you enjoyed the video, press that like button and yeah, looking forward to making more division content. Peace out, homies.